It's homework time. Yes, lesson 15. Is anybody out there? Is anybody actually being assigned this homework? I don't know. It's like this weird, like, hey, do it over the summer with a piece of plastic tape to a folder. Okay. Well, we're going to do it. I'm going to do it. Let's do it. Mr. McGrath, that's my name. You put your name at the top of the page and go ahead and write today's date. All right, today. You write the actual date. So for homework, complete the top portion of each page. This will become an answer key for you to refer to when completing the bottom portion as a mini personal whiteboard activity <sighs> during the summer. Yeah, right, during the summer. Find the area of the figure that is shaded. Okay, so here's how we look at these. Um, we're going to take this uh, one here that's shaped like, I don't know, a dog's leg as drawn by James Thurber. Um, and we could either draw a line across here to set here, and I'll actually draw it. We could draw a line across here and then look at this as a rectangle and this as a rectangle. Let me erase those. Or we could draw a line here and look at this and this as rectangles, okay? Um, I'm going to elect just somewhat randomly. I'm going to go with that second option and draw this line here. Now, Here's the mistake that people make, okay? Now, this one's pretty straightforward, right? We can see, okay, it's 8 feet by 16 feet, okay? So we, we can see that that's 8 by 16, and so we have to do 8 times 16, which would be, let's do 8 times 10 is 80, and 8 times 6 is, another one, 48, and then we have to combine those to get the area of this rectangle here, which is length times width. I'll write that down here. That area equals length times width. You know that. Um, so 80 plus 40, 120, 8 more, 128. So that's 128. And what are we talking about here? We're talking about area, also known as square area. So square feet. All right. Now this one over here is a little trickier because the Common error is to do 4 times 16, but we cut that bad boy off right there, didn't we now? All right, so do we have to change anything here? Is this line still 16 feet? Yes, it is. Okay, so there might be a tendency to, to change that number to say, oh, well, it's not this, it's that. It's still, this is 4 feet, right? And this is 16 feet. So it is 4 times 16. Sometimes that changes, and we'll, we'll see that, uh, I believe, in the next one. So I want you to be aware of that. So here we're looking at 4 times 16, and guess what? It's going to be half of 8 times 16, isn't it? It is. So if you can split in your head 128 and half, go for it. I'm going to do it out. 4 times 10 is 40, and 4 times 6 is 24. Uh, 40 and 24, well, 40 and 20 is 60, and 4 more makes 64, and we are still talking about area, square area, square feet. So when we put these together, yes, my brothers and sisters, 128 plus 64, 8 and 4 make 12, 1, 2, and 6, well, 1, 2 is 3, 6 more is 9, and then 192 square feet. And I'm just going to circle that so it's clear that that is my answer here. Now in this one, there are again several ways we can go about it. What I find most likely to be easiest is to use a subtractive method because we have to subtract out this anyway, right? So let's do this. Okay, that way we can do this whole thing, this whole rectangle, and subtract out this, and subtract out this. Okay, so the whole rectangle is, ah, okay, well we can look at the full sides here. 24 is the yards, is the full side, and 16 yards. So the whole thing is 24 by 16. All right, so let's go ahead and do that, and we'll come back to the rest. We can break this down, as we've done before, into 24 times 10 and plus 24 times, oops, 24 
24 times 6. Okay, 24 times 10, we can get that pretty quickly. Ride that time 10 slide. 240, 240. 24 times 6 might require a little more thought. Let's do it out. Oh my goodness, the sloppiness today. Clean up your act, guy. All right. 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 2 is 12 plus 2, 14. So 144. I'm trying to make my fours nice and neat. And to add these together now, all right, well, let's do that here on the side as well. 240 plus 144. And 0 plus 4 is 4. 4 and 4 make 8. 2 and 1 are 3. So the whole thing is 384, and we're talking about square yards. Now we need to subtract from that this little bad boy and this little bad boy here, and then we'll know what the shaded area is. So this one is simply 9 by 7, right? Hey, we can do that. 9 by 7 is... You know your nines? With the nine trick? Okay, uh, so that is 63, and that's also square yards. Make sure you write the units on these things. Um, and now this, we don't have the dimensions of this, but we can figure them out quite easily. Watch. The whole side is 16, up to here is 11. What's the difference between them? 11 plus what is 16? 5. Hey, that's a cute little bracket I made there. I must congratulate myself. And now this one looks about the same, but a little shorter. Well, that one's not quite as cute. The whole side is 24. Up to here is 20. What's the difference between them? It's 4. So we can say that that little uh, rectangle is 5 by 4. So it is 20 square yards. Whoa, I don't know what I just wrote there, but it's square yards. Trust me. So together, what we're subtracting is 83. We see that? Square yards. There, I wrote it correctly that time. So if we take that 384, that's the whole shebanger, and we subtract the 83 square yards of the parts that aren't shaded, that will give us the difference. 4 minus 3 is 1. 8 minus 8 is 0. And 3, you might have seen that. So it's 301 square yards. And I'm going to not only circle that, I'm going to say, <laughs> draw a little arrow because I did my work over here. Um, so we can see that that's the answer for that one. Now, uh, in it's still numbered number one, but there's a little summer challenge on this one as well that we'll go ahead and do together. So let's do it. All right, so we already did find the area the figure is shaded. Rewind the tape if you need to. Our challenge now, our summer challenge here, is to replace the given dimensions with different measurements and to solve again. Now, these measurements have to be kind of proportional. You can't just, like, throw in any old numbers here because it just really won't make sense, and you may end up with weird things like even, like, negative numbers or something. Um, so I'm going to go from feet to centimeters. So here where we have 16 feet, I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to replace this with 20 centimeters. And now this is the same, right? So that also would be 20 centimeters, right? This was originally one-fourth of that, right? Four is one-fourth of 16. So what's one-fourth of 20? It's five, right? 20 divided by four is five. So this would be five centimeters. And this originally was half of this dimension. So it's half of 20 centimeters. It's 10 centimeters. And notice I picked numbers that make the math easy. Ha, ha, ha. Gotcha. All right. I'm going to do it the same way. I'm going to go... Dit, 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 dit. This one now is 5 by 20 centimeters. Look how easy I made it for us. <laughs> 5 times 20. That's right. It's 100. And another way to write uh, square centimeters is centimeters with the superscript 2. Superscript means raised up, written higher up. Super means above, just like Superman is above other men. Super means above, script means writing, so a superscript means a raised up, 
like in my last name, the C is superscript in McGrath, this two is raised up, and that means centimeters square, uh, centimeters squared or square centimeters, okay? A little extra bit there for you. And then over here, this is 10 by 20 centimeters. I know how to make things pretty straightforward. Yeah, right, that 10 time, uh, times 10 slide there, it's 200 centimeters squared, square centimeters. And I put those together and the area then is 300 square centimeters. <laughs> Made that one easy. I feel deliciously evil. And now on this one, let's do something similar. It's going to be a little more challenging because uh, the numbers aren't quite as conducive to that. Um, so let's, let's go for it though. All right, so this one, it, we're not going to be in perfect proportion here. Okay, we're going to kind of throw things off to make the numbers work for us. Let's go with centimeters again. I kind of like that. Or let's go with meters. It'll be one less letter to write. Okay, so let's call this 20 meters here, our longest side. And then, so this one should be, I don't know, a little bit less. Okay, and again, these aren't going to be perfectly proportional the way they were over here. It's just too much work. Um, so this one's going to be a little bit less. Let's call this uh, let's call it 18 meters, okay? Which we already know what we need to do here, right? So this right here is going to be what? The difference between 20 and 18 is 2 meters, good. All right, and then this has to be less than those, so I'm going to try to make the math a little easier and call this 15 meters. We'll see how that works out. And then I'm going to make this easy by calling this 10 meters. And again, these are not proportional the way it was in the first one. Difference between 15 and 10 is 5. You see, I'm trying to make it easy here. That's this. And then in here, let's call these... Um, oh, okay, let's call this uh, 5 meters on this side. And let's call this one, well, I'd like to make it easy and call it 10. So, yeah, let's do that. It's totally out of proportion, but I'm just going to do that anyway, uh, 10 meters. Okay, so now, first we find the whole shebang, right? So that is, our long side is 20 and 15. So it's 20 times 15, which, just to break that down for you, you can say, hey, that's 2 times 15 times 10. You remember that? There's our 20, 2 times 10. I just used the associative and distributive properties to make it easier to do because we know that 2 times 15 is 30 times 10. Ride that times 10 slide. So a whole shebanger is 300 square meters. Okay. Now we just need to subtract these two little pieces. And as you see, I tried to make the math easy on those. So we're going to have a uh, 10 times 5 meters for this part, yeah, which is 50 square meters. And then here, 5 times 2. I'll write it as 2 times 5 for symmetry's sake. And so that's 10 square meters. So together, these are 60 square meters, which we're subtracting from the whole shebanger of 300 square meters. Do we even have to like do the math here and the regrouping? Can you see it? All right, you can see it's 240. If not, go ahead and do out all the regrouping. So we can see that that is the area over here. Boom! And now we're going to go on to number, well, 2 slash 3. It's number 3, but it's really, okay, let's just do it. Wow! A wall! Where is this wall? I don't know. It's like in space. It's like the obelisk in 2001, a space odyssey. This wall is on Jupiter, and it is eight feet tall and 19 feet wide. Now it has an opening, ooh, a portal to another dimension. And this opening is seven feet tall and eight feet wide, was cut, using the passive voice, we know not by whom, an opening seven feet tall and eight feet wide was cut into the wall for a doorway by the Jupertians. Find the area of the remaining portion of the wall because I guess they want to paint it or something. All right, so here's our wall. Boom. And you are not another brick in the wall. I am, though. Okay.
Um, I want to draw another one, but it, uh, okay, so let me do this. Okay, so here we go. Now I'm going to draw the doorway. There, that's what I was trying to do. Oh, I almost got it perfect. There we go. And center. Oh, oh, so good. Man, that feels great. Okay, so it is 8 feet tall and 19 feet wide. And this doorway here is 7 feet tall and 8 feet wide. And what we're trying to find, man, I wonder if I can use the paint bucket. Let's see if this will work. Uh, oh, it worked! Hot dog! It's amazing when things work, isn't it? Look at that. So that's what we're trying to find is the shaded portion. I feel good. Something worked. My day is already great. So if we find the whole shebanger and then subtract out the doorway just the way the Jupersians did, we will then have our answer. I'm going to do 8 times 19 in a funky, fresh way because guess what I see? I see I know that 20 times 8 is 2 times 8 times 10 which is 16 times 10, 160. Oh, and that's just 8 more than 19 times 8. So that means that 19 times 8 is 8 less than that. Can you subtract 8 from 160? It's 152. And this is the kind of thing crazy people like me do in our heads. Instead of, you know, when you have to do 19 times 8, say, I'll do 20 times 8 is 160 minus 8 is 152. And you can do that with some practice in a matter of seconds and get the right answer without having to do all the gymnastics of mathematics there. So the whole shebanger is 152 square feet, which again, I'm going to write at, with the superscript 2. Now we want to subtract this, and that is 8 by 7, also known as 56 square feet. I'm assuming it's the end of fourth grade. You know 8 times 7, right? If you don't, you know what, seriously, that's fine. Spend your summer, uh, I use extra math, X-T-R-A-M-A-T-H dot O-R-G, not dot com, but O-R-G, extra math dot org. Just search it up, make yourself an account, and go through and master those facts. Because I'll tell you one thing you're going to need for fifth grade. I don't think many fifth grade teachers are going to spend their time making sure that you can add without using your fingers. And it's fine if you still do. But it's time to, yeah, do something about it and spend the summer working on it. I know. I know you don't want to. But, hey, it's life, kids. All right. And so now to subtract here, I need to subtract out the doorway from the wall. It's 152 minus 56. I tell you, honestly, how I would do this in my head, I'd say, ooh, those numbers are close. So here's what I would do in my head. I would do 152 minus 52 is 100. That's nice and easy. And then subtract the four more to get, yeah, 96. And to do this now in regular subtraction, you see why I do it this way in my head. Look, all right, so we go over here to the 5. That becomes a 4. The 2 becomes 12. 12 minus 6 is 6. Four, oh, we can't do 4 minus 5. So if we go over here, that becomes a 0. It becomes 14. 14 minus 5 is 9, and then we have a zero. Oh, I got the same thing, but it was a little more work. So the area of the wall, or the remaining portion of the wall, if you want to write that, is 96. And we're talking about square feet. Woohoo! Man, you're getting summer work done, rock and rolling. Believe it or not, that's it. That's all I got for you for this lesson 15. All right. Um, well, if I don't see you again, I'll see you again. And in the meantime, I'll see you again next time is once again homework time.